CNBC Africa, DSTV Channel 410. Welcome to this post-budget review right here on CNBC Africa. Well, we also have in studio this morning a live audience with us who will be able to pose questions to the guests. That coming up a little later on uh, in the next 60 minutes. In your books, has that been adequately addressed? Well, I think if you, if you look at the budget, we've got to go back to the quote that the, uh, we got from the minister there is, is we've got to see this against the background of what's been happening internationally and also locally. Well, at this point, we're going to be taking questions from our live studio audience. It seems that we've now got a couple more questions from uh, our audience this morning. Uh, first question. We've seen relaxation of the foreign investment allowance over the last couple of years. What do you think is going to happen in the future? Question for Dave. Regarding the investment account that they're talking about, the 500,000, we know through history that that's generally been in the market with which um, the life insurance companies have dominated, as you rightly said. I think a lot of people are speculating. I think the general expectation is it means higher taxes. I don't think that's necessarily the case. I mean, if you look at the, the track record of government thus far, I mean, I, the, our tax rates are, you know, I think competitive internationally. Is this dangerous, this culture of dependency that we seem to be creating or suddenly that impression being given? What's your view on initiatives like this? We're focusing our discussion on the recent announcement of the establishment of a BRICS-led development bank. Joining us now from our bureau in Nairobi, I have George Bordeaux, who's head of the financials desk at EcoBank Research. George, thanks so much for joining our conversation. Is the BRICS development bank a done deal? Because some say not necessarily. There's mm. just too much that needs to be thrashed out. Mm. I think as usual in, in complex cases such as this, the devil is in the detail. Mm. But I also think that the stakes are very high. You know, we talk about special economic zones which are quite different. Yes. But the Chinese regime is the most oppressive uh, authoritarian regime, doesn't respect human rights, um, you know, and capital flows. CNBC Africa, DSTV Channel 410.